D45 Tech Talks and the Smart Board Revolution Google Plus community presents a smart survival guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and in this episode, we're going to look at the shake to group and ungroup. This works in Notebook 11 Plus. I got these numbers from the Gallery tab under the Gallery Essentials. I just looked under the pictures. And maybe I want to create a lesson where I put the numbers along the bottom and that students can use them to make other numbers. But they're too big. I can't fit them all along the bottom. So I can resize each one. But to try to get them all the same size, I have to line one up on top of the other and do them individually. Pain in the neck. A better way would be to select them all and group them all together. I'm going to start by clicking or tapping the board in the white space above and to one of the sides of all the objects and drag a box around them. That's called a marquee select. Now I could select one of the drop down menus and then tap group and then group. And now notice we only have one box. And then I could ungroup them the same way. But ever since Notebook 11, there's an easier way. You shake them, and shake means to grab them and move your finger back and forth. This only works on a board. So this won't work if you're just using your computer and the mouse. Now I can resize this whole group, and that will resize them all proportionally. Then I can shake them again to ungroup them. Shake to group, and shake to ungroup. Now they're all resized proportionally, and I can put them down here for my lesson. Another item in the gallery that's similarly poorly sized are the fractions. They are ridiculously huge, but I can marquee select all of them, and then shake to group, drag to resize them all proportionally, and then shake to ungroup. Now they seem a better size for a lesson. Now the best thing to do would be to bring out all of the fractions, all the halves, thirds, fourths, etc. You can see it goes all the way down to eighths with the circle and then there are also the square ones. Marquee select them all, shake to group, resize, shake to ungroup, and you can see that they are all resized proportionally. What's nice is you can create a folder within my content and drag these pieces into it. Now they will stay this size when you drag them from my content and put them on another page. If you don't like the shake to group and ungroup option, you can go to the file menu and select preferences and then uncheck use the shake gesture to group and ungroup objects. If you group things and don't want them to be able to be ungrouped, if you go to the drop down menu and then select lock and allow move, then no amount of shaking will ungroup them. So that's how to shake to group and ungroup objects.